Hello everybody, Ian Boswell here, and I wanted to just show off this little uh, rig that I built for myself over the holidays, uh, just for fun. Uh, basically, I'm going to do a parts list that's going to be in the description of the video, and right now I'm just going to just show you what I've done with the water looping and, and what direction I sort of took with it, and you know, you can then judge me and scorn me completely for doing everything horribly wrong. So, uh, first off, uh, the case is an interesting case. It's open to the air. Um, and uh, yes, it, it can run crisis. That's going to be the first question you're probably going to ask as a joke, mostly. But yeah, I'm, so there it is running it. Um, let me pull up the actual items in the video. You know, I have mice all over the living room. You think I would be able to find one? Here's one. Oh, now I'm moving in the game. Ah. <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, oh, alt tab over here. Okay, so this is the case. It's uh, a thermal take core P5. And, uh, uh, it's it's pretty. I like it. It's got that big show window. Uh, that when I first got it, it was like covered in this uh, paper material. That really scared me because I was like, did I just get a wooden board? Do I have to like make my own window? And I don't know anything about what I've just purchased here. This is really weird. Um, but yeah, it does come with a show window and this little bracket for mounting your GPU on. So you you literally take like this this line. Uh, I don't know if I can show it in the video, but there's a line. It's going from the, the uh, PCI Express slot down and then up and then into the side. So it's uh, able to hold the card sideways like this for showing it off and uh, having the reservoir be vertical, which is, uh, sorry, having the reservoir be vertical, which is really cool. Okay, so um, uh, let's move on to the next next thing. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's the Core i7. So it's got the, uh, the newest uh, Haswell i7 uh, that's behind that cooler. Uh, I think I have the cooler also up here. Uh, oh, there's the Titan X. So the, the, the graphics is a Titan X Hydro. Uh, as you can see, it's got these brackets on it. Uh, it's got actually six uh, ways of going in and out. Uh, so I basically have one line there, and that's the outline. So this is the end line coming off of the processor, and then the outline goes to the pump. And the pump is also the reservoir, and then the pump reservoir feeds up <laughs> into the uh, uh, radiator with the four fans on it, and then it comes out of the radiator here, uh, and then it travels down this line, which is literally just a 90 degree angle, if you were to look straight down at it. So 90 degrees, and then straight down into the processor, and so I made that as, as streamlined as possible. And don't worry, the fluid is all anti-static, so I, I didn't really worry about leaks or anything. I just turned it on, and then you saw bubbles flowing in a circle throughout it until finally the bubbles went away. And uh, then I refilled up the fluid. I probably went well beyond the fill line that I should have filled it to, but whatever. It's it's pretty. So, um, And I don't plan to change anything in, in the near future, uh, at least for a while. Okay, so there's the motherboard. Um, and let's see... Uh, oh, there's the cooler. It's a Swift Tech Apogee. It just looked pretty. I don't know if it's the best one, but it, you know, it gets the job done. It's got these little plates you can change out on it. Um, the RAM is just Corsair RAM, 32 gigs. Um, I could do DDR4, but I did DDR3 for right now. There's the Thermaltake ring fans, so I got four of those. Uh, what's what else we got? Oh, the tubing. This is the tubing. It's XS. Yeah, XSPC flex tubing, and uh, it, the biggest problem I had when I was using it was I accidentally got the wrong size brackets, so I was delayed by almost two weeks because I had to get the right size of brackets uh, to go with the tubing. You can't just get any brackets. Uh, you specifically need to get, um, uh, if I have it, oh, the Fesser 1 is the uh, liquid. I actually have an entire bottle left of this stuff, pretty much. Um, and it's imported apparently from Germany, but it uh, it's uh, UV orange and uh, anti-static, so that's cool. These are the uh, compression fittings. You've got to do the one fourth to one half or three fourths OD, whatever the heck that all means. But that's the compression fittings that are here and there 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 and then there and there and there and there and there. So. Oops, sorry, I'm looking at the floor while doing it. So basically, all in all, uh, it's a lot of compression fittings. Too many. Um, I think I could have probably gone with less if I didn't want to have this valve here for turning the liquid on and off. 
but um yeah it's all in all uh pretty cool and yeah you need a lot of these um you need a lot of these and they're very you know they're kind of pricey at 23 bucks but basically if you want to do a rig like this you got to get a lot of compression fittings and you can never have too many i've learned this this is a lesson i'm imparting it to you if you should ever want to build anything remotely resembling this or with even slight liquid cooling uh the, the hard drives are these they're pretty old um just pony solid states at 480 and i because they're so cheap i just get a bunch of them and run them in raid zero uh to give me you know like a couple terabyte drives and then, uh, of course, we've got the standard 1,200-watt uh, 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 guy down here. If you can even see that, I can't tell. It's so low to the ground. But basically, yeah. <clears throat> so that's it. Whoops, covering up the lens. That's it. I just wanted to show that little baby off. <laughs> it's cute. Um, it does not benchmark as well as my other rig, which has... All of this without the liquid cooling, and instead of a Titan X, it has a Titan Z. And I can uh, go show that to you if you want to see it. I'll just go ahead and uh, do that real quick. Let me just sign out of Steam over here and close Crisis. Whoop de doo, 60 frames a second, 4K, wee. All right. All the settings on Ultra, obviously. Ugh. It's obviously more power than you'd probably need for this generation of games, uh, even though that's technically a last-gen game we're playing. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so we'll just go over there and look at it right now. So on this one, um, you can see two of the hard drives there, and that's the Titan. And then I got this Cooler Master fan that is being advertised everywhere right now. It's very pretty. Now uh, when you turn it on. My finger just does not know where that camera lens is, sorry. But yeah. It's nice. And I'm so far getting much better performance out of this. So, um, even though everywhere I looked on the web, they said that the Titan, ooh, sorry, they said that the Titan Z does not perform as well as the Titan X. Um, I don't know. I've yet to see proof of that myself, personally. But, um, give it a lever come up right now. There it is. The sun's hitting it too, isn't it? Lovely. <laughs> okay, so I'll just pull up a game really quick, like Guild Wars 2 or something, whatever launches fastest. And um, one of the things that always lags me in uh, Guild Wars, specifically, is if I'm in a crowded area with a lot of players, like Radisum. So I'm going to find somebody who's in Radisum. Here's somebody in Radisum. All right. Just waiting for that little loading swirly. 4K again. And what we're going to do is, with Titan Z, we're going to go look at a, a crowded area, and we're going to spin the camera around, and you're going to see there's going to be no frame rate loss, except for maybe loading, and then after that it'll be fine. Okay. So this is the shops area. And, uh... On the, the Titan X, if I do this, uh, I get a lot of choppiness, but here I get completely smooth, no no problems whatsoever, 60 FPS, so I don't know. Maybe it's just something with Guild Wars specifically, maybe it's something with the processor, maybe I'm bottlenecking somehow, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But uh, in my own assessment right now, I would actually say that this is performing better uh, here than it is over there. In fact, let's 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 head back over there. And I'll, I'll demonstrate uh, if you want me to. Why not? You, you've got time. I've got time. Let's do that. Let's go back over there. Bye, Titan Z. I'll, I'll shut you down since I don't need to use you right now. Okay, 
So we'll get on the same character on Guild Wars 2, same location, all that. You can think of this as sort of a way of comparing the Titan X Liquid Cooled Edition versus the Titan Z Air Cooled Condition, specifically with relation to Guild Wars 2, <laughs> weirdly enough. I mean, it's still, it's still a relevant game. They had Heart of Thorns come out just this year in 2015. Well, it'll be 2016 in literally a number of hours, but still. <laughs> At the time of making this. Okay, so we're in. And I rotate the camera around. And uh, right now I don't have the settings on Ultra, which is why I'm not... Over there I had the settings on, on Max. Let me fix that. I'm actually downscaling because of the resolution problems I've been having. So instead of saying subsample, I'll do the native. And you're, you're already seeing that the frame rate there is saying is dropping to 41. And look at that. Look, look at that chop. It might be loading initially, but then it like... Mm, I don't know. It stays consistently at like 41. Maybe it's something with my power options. I don't know. I'm going to have my... my PC tech expert take a look at it and see what the heck I'm doing wrong. I'm probably doing something wrong, but it is interesting that I'm getting a lower frame rate. And uh, it might actually just be the fault of the, the cable coming out of the back of the computer because I'm not using a, um, a gold HDMI like I am with the other one. I'm using a pretty lame HDMI. So maybe it's that. I don't know. There could be any number of things, but it is kind of weird that, you know, you, you hear everywhere that the X outperforms the Z, even though the Z is more expensive. And I get to see the X actually outperform it, um, except in Fallout. Uh, Fallout 4, specifically. It's a newer game, so maybe uh, newer games will perform better because they're optimized or something. But, uh, well, is Fallout optimized? I don't know. But, but yeah, it, um, it certainly does perform a lot better in Fallout 4 uh, than the Z when, I, when I'm playing it. I don't know why that is, um, but it is. Like, when I'm recording in Fallout 4 with the Z, I do get some chop. But here, if I'm if I'm recording with the X, I don't get any chop. And maybe the X was just designed with the ability to multitask in mind like that. I don't know. That's enough of this insanity. I don't even know why I went off on this tangent. But there it is. Isn't it pretty? Wee. Look at the liquid going around. You can't actually see it move. But it was really pretty when you could see it move. But, uh probably dangerous because of the air bubbles not transferring heat properly. Now it, it's awesome and sturdy. Sturdy. Did that just jiggle? Ugh. God, anyway. Don't leak, please. <laughs> I'm going to put it back on its uh, concrete slab. <laughs> That's it. Oh, also I'm going to get this black light to turn on eventually, and then it's going to make things look even more interesting. I, I plugged it into the motherboard, but it's not powering on, so I need to work that out in the BIOS probably. But yeah, that's it.